How does recursion work in plain terms? Xgoogler explains. Imagine a folder inside a folder, inside another folder, and so on. A whole chain of nested directories. Our recursive function can handle that perfectly. We start with the top folder on the first call. Inside it, there's another folder, so the function calls itself again. The computer pauses the first call and runs the second. Inside that, another folder, another call, and the previous one pauses again. And for every new folder, a new call is added. But the computer still remembers all the previous ones, their parameters, where they paused, and what they've already done. All that information for every function call is stored in what's called a stack. On the top, the most recent call, and at the bottom, the very first one. When the latest call finishes, it's removed from the stack and control returns to the previous one, which continues right where it paused. Once that one finishes, it's popped off too, and the next one resumes, and so on. So, every new recursive call adds information to the top of the stack. The deeper the recursion, the larger the stack becomes. But as calls finish, they're popped off, one by one, until eventually we return to the very first call that wraps up the whole program. And your computer maintains this call stack automatically. You don't have to write anything extra. Each time a function is called, the computer adds its info to the stack, its parameters, its progress, and the exact place where it stopped. Watch the whole 17-minute animated recursion breakdown from an ex-Googler on Algo Monster YouTube.